What I got on the editor today is a video with a little uh, instructor audio. I was instructing a student. He was on his last flight before he left the paramotor school, go back home. So I was offering tips and pointers and he was following along and observing me as I was doing a very technical low flight amongst obstructions. And I'm talking to him about it. I'm teaching him. And I just think that this might be useful to keep you guys safe. Some of the things I say in here are crucial to the pilot mindset and what you need to stay alive and to stay safe. Way outside of what kind of shit you got to fly, this is the important stuff. So pay attention, and you might know all these things. You may know all these things. But if you don't, this is a real gold mine right here of instruction. During an entire flight, I, I helped him launch, and then I went up with him. We did a flight, and then we landed. So here you go. Enjoy. Dial out. Now clear your brakes out while you're doing all that. You can go ahead and rev it a little bit. Do it at the same time. Got your toggle good behind the throttle and everything. And then you acquire your A's. Everything's tight, loaded, looks good. Now ease forward without moving the wing. Get to the end of the lines. All right, there it is. Look, look ahead first and pick your target. Should be right about towards me. No wind. A little bit. There's a little bit of wind. So you did a launch like this last night. It wasn't much wind really. A couple miles an hour. Lean over, make sure your motor's working good. Oh yeah. Now you're ready. Just do a, a good hard run, pop it up. Don't delay the power, get in the power. That's gonna get you moving. You're gonna have to be at a jog minimum before you start braking. But if I say brakes, just you come into them smooth. Yeah, once you're at full thrust, yeah. If you're taking running strides, you go nibbles. That's the cue. Even in zero wind, if you're running strides, nibbles. And the glider won't go over you then. And again, as soon as it's popping up good, add the juice to it. I'll call the abort if it looks weird, but it's half a mile an hour. Uh, well, now it's going actually tailwind. But I feel it in my face right here. Over there, it's a little weird. But yeah, maybe, look, it's starting to come back now a little. It's just light though, you know, half an hour doesn't change anything. Everything still has to be just right. Early on the power, build the speed before you get into the controls. But think about how fast that thing accelerates you. So within four or five steps, you don't wait to pull the brakes. After five steps, you're running literally, and then you can stop the wing from going past you. Yeah, don't overthink it. Let's do it. Wing's coming up good. Add some power. Going to your right. Okay, look at your wing. Look at your wing. Get under it. There you go. Full power. Lean back. Full power. Lean back. Little brakes. There you go. That's how we do it. Nice work. Now with the half mile an hour conditions basically means you can land in any direction But we got to be thinking east northeast. That's what it's probably going to end up being overall. That's probably what it is aloft So always always think about to the northeast is the way that you probably want to set up Never never let that leave your mind as far as I need to be positioned to the southwest of anything I want to land on for optimal safety, but if it's literally zero you can literally land any direction I don't think I primed this machine. I'm gonna give it a prime here. Let's see if I can do one now. Looks like I'm gonna have a little crosswind action too. It looks like I remembered how to launch. Not bad for uh, whatever night this is. Oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna outclimb me for sure. I'm not even touching the controls, I'm hands off. So Reagan's house, if you look out to the right, it's right past these, these fields. It's in line with the runway. I'm gonna ease over that way. I might do a low pass. I don't think I'm gonna land though. I can feel the wind blowing me from the east. See, this field below me here is real grown up probably not the best option but this field passed it over here I've got to glide to it right now so that's my bailout the one in front of me over here so if I was to come off the power right now I'm already on an approach I'm gonna do a left turn into the field once I get down here and then I'll be good it's a lot shorter there's a couple little trees and things I don't see any power line poles, so it's probably clear of invisible obstructions. Hey, there's Scott Allison's amazing junkyard to the right. Oh yeah, just an evening stroll over to wave at Reagan's kids. <laughs> so I'm going to get back on the controls since I'm getting low and I may need to maneuver. 
I can look at his water and tell it's like dead calm down there at his house. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, with the dock. Yeah, that's his. Yeah, this is his place. I'm signaling him by revving my motor. <laughs> All right, so he's got power lines, trees, fences, structures. So I got to pick my line very carefully. But because the wind is super zeroed out down there, I think I'm going to do a lap around his house counterclockwise and come back out the way I went in. The whole time overshooting the pool fence. That's going to be my line. I've already pre-picked it. And I'm going to commit to that line so that if the motor goes out at any point, I already know where I'm going, even from here. Yeah, they're out in the front yard. Okay. Woohoo! They should get a kick out of this. Yeah, there they go. They were down there at the pond. Hey guys! <laughs> and now I got my belt out straight ahead. And now it's gonna be to the left. If I have a motor out now, I'm going to land in this field to my left right here. But I'm still gaining altitude, and I've still got this field, but I'm climbing. And so now, my direction has changed. Now I'll do a 180 to the left, like this. So motor out here, look, I'm coming in. And i got my line, and I've got a place to land the whole time. Even though I'm low amongst obstructions, i got my line picked. I'm going to do a lap the other way now. <laughs> so I'm not saying it so much as uh, I just didn't talk it out, but I'm trying to keep high enough that I can keep my glide over the swimming pool fence. That would be such a disastrous thing to hit right there at the end of the glide. So I'm making sure I got ample altitude to clear that in the event of an engine failure. Thought I would come on here just to say it. Oh yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good for sure. able to stay a little higher on that one a little more margins I'm still committed to his yard but I'm trying to get some altitude now okay now I can land in this field across the street that's my new bailout I feel a little turbulence right here at this altitude it's just a little a little gradient I think and when I go up above it it gets smoother but it is from the east so now I've got the field made. I'm going to come down a little lower, feel out where the, uh... oh, the wind's doing nothing. Oh, that's fun. I could just do a straight in. <laughs> but I can see I'm low from here. I'm a little low. I'm going to give it some gas. And now I'm going to come off of it. Okay, now I'm off the power and I'm on my glide. I'm not even touching the brakes yet, but I'm going to reach up and put them in my hands. Yeah, yeah, see now that was enough altitude to give me a glide clear into the field. Like well over the taxiway, but I'm right here at the corner of the taxiway at treetop level. All right, and I'm just burning my altitude. And then I would slowly weight shift into the field, three inches of right brake, ease off the right brake slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh-oh, somebody done dropped the brake toggle right before the flare. <laughs> And I'm going to do a go around. But that's what a good approach would look like in these conditions. Never crowd in the field when you're too high. Wait till you're got that last little bit. But then you don't want to move aggressively either. That power line's right under me right now. And I'm going over those. There's a motorcycle coming. I'm going to stay on the right side. I'm using the actual side of the road as my bailout. Now I'm gonna come over here and use this side of the road. Power lines are a little further away over here. 
but I got water coming up, so I need to climb. All right, I'm gonna do a 180 to the right. Look, land, pull, hold. We'll come off the power, do kind of a swoopy swoopy. back hands off again. Let my shoulders rest. Still looking for airplanes. You can see them pretty good on a day like today. They got their lights blinking. It looks like that smoke out here to our uh, west is drifting maybe out of the south a little. Do you see that? That's weird because everything else was showing northeast. I wonder what the flags are doing out here. I'm going to go check those out. But it's light. Light, 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 light. On the surface, there's almost no wind to speak of. See, I can see from here that the winds are just almost nothing. I, I could literally land north, south, but there's a little bit of east in them for sure. And probably it's northeast, but I don't know. I can't see that much. But even if I landed straight ahead the way I'm going, no factor. It's not enough to throw me down or, or wipe me out. I just want to be fast when I get to the ground. Flare, run it out. Try to look try a little foot drag here see if I can do it maybe maybe I remember how the grass is kind of tall over here I'll just do the concrete it looks like there's a little bit of south in it not much a quarter mile an hour <laughs> I do believe there's a little bit of south coming back shoot man I'm gonna I'm gonna take her in and see if I can land over here now where I land ain't necessarily where you need to land, okay? Think about that. <laughs> Little side hill uh, landed into rough practice over here. But you don't have to land either, so you know, there's that. Yeah, do some approaches, man. That's the best thing to do as a new pilot is to practice approaches with go-arounds. And so every approach is gonna be a go-around unless something don't work, then you're already on approach. When you do try to land though, try to level out and slide that toe across the ground. And if, if you're flying across the ground at full speed, then landing is no factor, it's easy. It's like a mile an hour, it's no factor. Anyway, we wanna, we wanna land, just pick a good line and just commit to it. And remember, they're mostly coming out of the east, so just kind of pick a direction that drifts slightly to the east. Even if you take a complete tailwind at one mile an hour, that's easy enough you can do it. Don't stress over the wind direction when it's super light like that. Remember, you want to be stable low. Yeah, the motor will affect it if you're on and off power. Just jamming the power will make it turn right and pitch back. Yeah, if you go into a motor off glide, it should stabilize quite nicely. But anytime you got that power on board, it's gonna be rocking things a little bit. Yeah, the 80 don't have enough power to overcome your weight. So you don't notice it as much. That's one reason we train with them as well. But that 185, when you hit the juice, that thing turns to the right. Yeah, yeah. You gotta counter with the left brake. As the thrust rolls in, you gotta add a little left. You'll start doing it subconsciously. You won't even notice. But when you hit the gas, you'll throw in some left just to make it go straight. If you coordinate the two, not when you squeeze it, but when the thrust hits, you come in with the brake at that point, not when you squeeze it, but when it pushes. And remember, for the oscillation, only pull the brake on the tip that's rising. So just pick like left or right, and if you see that tip going up, you add pressure. As soon as it stops going up, you release pressure, and that'll stop oscillation. It just takes one, maybe two bumps. If you want to make oscillation bigger, you pull the side that's going down. That's how you start into wingovers. You pull a little right and it goes right and then you pull left and when it gets to the top now you're swinging large but it's the opposite to come out of them so you pull the side that's rising and then switch and then the other side's rising and just with a bump or two you can stop any kind of oscillation that's happening yeah very much very much like a swing set it is a good evening for it light light winds very minimal turbulence loft cool it's a little a little bit damp have you noticed the dampness like I, I just, there's just moisture in there. I mean, it's overcast completely. So you would kind of expect that. Add power, climb. Don't just limp in because then you're low when you get here. But if you climb and then intercept your glide slope, then come off the power. Then you're higher and you got longer to get stable. 
So if you see your low, you climb till you intercept the glide slope and now come off the power and then you're higher and coming into the field with some altitude to get stable. Notice when you release the power, it goes left. Nice. All right. There's 10, 5, 2, 1. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually know you were going for that one, but you liked it and you took it. Man, what a finale. Oh, yeah. You did well. You did well. I told you it was going to be easy. Yeah. Yeah, you're making... You're making all the right moves. You just need to go practice now. You're going to learn more without me around than, or just fly with nobody around. Send send a code like, hey, I'll, if I don't call you by whatever time, come looking. I'll be here. And just go to the field where nobody can see you and nobody's around and do your work. And then that's when you really, you really make the most of the practice. It's just you and the wing and no other factors. It really allows you to focus on the technique alone and get in the zone with it. But there's a freedom to being disconnected. You know, it's like, like homework. You know, the teacher's no longer talking. You're just practicing on your own then. Same deal. But don't be one of the para-hermits where you don't fly with anybody ever. That, I mean, it looks like a, a Wally Coyote flying kit, you know, and an Acme box. That's what it looks like to people that haven't studied on it. It's, it's like, the what? No, what? <laughs> Those things? You're crazy. You're crazy. I like real airplanes. Solid wings. That thing deflates. Yeah, so <laughs> it opens back up pretty easy, too. <laughs> <laughs> can you carry your airplane across a field for half a mile on your back can you put it in an airliner and then fly to another country and then take it out and fly it paragliding gives you that option good medicine Woo. knock out some laps yeah go watch a sunset climb real high get cool after a hard day of yard work that's one of my favorite things in the summer when it's blistering humid still just just go until you until you get chilly and then kill the motor and glide all the way back down pop your earphones off and then just hear the wind make the turns hear the swoosh you know the sound in the cell planes uh, when you nose it over that whoosh, you pull it back and you hear the sound go away uh, it's the same way when you pull the brakes up there and go slow you don't hear any sound and then you let off the brakes and it whoosh yeah you've done well i'm happy for you i'm gonna pop off this headset Thank you for watching the video. That kind of hurts. There's that good content we're looking for. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys real soon in the next one. What's up, y'all? Call out. What? What? That's all he ever says to me. Oh, you probably. What? What?